Hello, this is Don O'Malley with Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. Thanks for tuning in. Yes, I have a cowboy hat on. That means we're watching a western. Today we have The Adventures of Red Rider from 1940. In this one, a gang is led by Calvin Drake, who plans to drive off ranchers from their land to profit from a railroad. However, on one of these ranches, the Circle R, lives the Ryder family, who resists the gang. After his father, Tom, is killed, Red Rider swears to revenge and sets out to defeat the gang once and for all. So here we go with Red Rider and Little Beaver. That, gentlemen, is the situation on the frontier today. Gentlemen, the situation is very grave. Nevertheless, Colonel Lang brings us President Grant's assurance of military support. In view of this, how do you vote on the purchase of land required for the balance of our right of way? I vote the purchase. I vote yes. I vote yes. No. The vote is unanimous. We'll begin the actual purchase as soon as we've placed our bond issue. May I have your attention for a moment? From Tenfleet Junction, we propose to bear southwest to Colton, San Angelo, and through Sundown Pass to Mesquite, which will be our principal division point west of the Mississippi until we get to Needle. We will still have to purchase all the land between Tenfleet Junction and Needle. And you can readily see, gentlemen, how a few unscrupulous men could cost us millions by tying up that land. I believe that is all, gentlemen. I move in a journal. Did they vote on it? Yes, sir. And just the way you said they would, unanimously. Good. Look, the road will go from Tenchleep Junction through Colton, San Angelo, by way of Sundown Pass to Mesquite. Three months, I'll hold title to half the ranches in the territory. I'll abase Hanlon, strike at the little fellow first, and then I'll... One eye. You take the boys down and see if you can't convince Wells to sell out at the right price. It worked before, Ace. It ought to this time. you little beaver, you sure gave me a scare. I thought the Patches was on the warpath again. No Patches on warpath now, Mr. Withers. We've had peace for a long time. 
He teach Sammy to shoot bow and arrow. Well, be careful you don't wing somebody. We will, Pop. You come with little Beaver. You've got no right to do that. <laughs> All right, boys, the house next. You can't get away with this. This is my place, and you ain't gonna run me off of it. Draw that gun, and I'll drill you. Now get out of here and get quick. Bad men make you trouble. You hide. Little Weaver gets Red Rider. How bad are you hurt, son? Left arm's broke. Let's finish the job. Take that hay and drag it around the blind side of his head. Red Rider. It's hard to say. We'll take him to the Circle R and maybe my father can figure something out. Ugh. Well, I just fed Sammy and made him lie down. I just I better give him a lot of mothering. Don't worry, Tom. I'll take good care of them. Uh, you know, Little Beaver said that Ira wasn't even wearing a gun. Ira never was a gunfighter, Dad. You know that. Yeah, I know it. Ira was a fine, courageous man. Did you recognize any of the killers, son? Well, I've seen the one I downed in Mesquite several times. Little Beaver seen man who looked with one eye. What's that, mm -hmm. Brock? Little Beaver see man who look with one eye. Another eye wear a black cloth. One eye Chapin. That's another trail to Mesquite. Chapin doesn't even take a drink unless Hanlon tells him to. If I only knew what was behind all this burning and shooting, I'd know how to fight. But you ask me, Hanlon's behind it. He always wanted rustlers instead of honest men around him. Not more than that, son. Someone big behind all this. Someone mighty big. Well, bigger little, let's smoke him out and put a rope brand on his neck. Oh, somebody will swing for this, all right. When the time comes, let the territory buy the rope. We'll use ours for working cattle. But, Dad, we can't sit around whittling a stick well, while... who's whittling a stick? I'm on my way to Mesquite right now to organize the honest ranchers and make a fight. You know, uh, 
Calvin Drake's got a lot of influence around these parts, and I might need it. I'm going to see Cal Drake. Yeah, well, I'm going with you. Tell you, Drake, when men like Ira Withers and his son are shot down in their own ranch yard, it's time the honest men of this territory did something about it. I don't mind admitting, Colonel, that my interest in the small ranches is not entirely unselfish. The bank has loaned considerable money to many of them. Nevertheless, I don't like vigilante movements. Well, neither do I. Just another name for lynch law, and I'd fight that under any name. What we propose is an organization of cattlemen who chase the gunfighters out of this territory. Men like Ace Hannon, for instance. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're going to do. Son, you go over to the weekly Sentinel and get them to run a piece asking the ranchers to meet me at Mesquite in the morning. I'm on my way, Dad. I'm going to the jail and swear out a murder warrant for one-eyed shaping. Colonel, you can count on my heartiest support. Thanks, Cal. Good day. Good day. have a chance to get the Red Rider. And why didn't you? That wasn't my orders, Ace. Uh, you told me to... That clock ain't right, is it? <laughs> oh, no. Hasn't been for a year. All right, when I... You better get out of town for a while. Say, if there's any trouble over this uh, Withers deal, I don't want you around underfoot. Sure, Ace. Sure. All right, when I... Is on his way to swear out a warrant for one eye chafing. <laughs> Too late. Chafing's hightailing it out of town already. That isn't all. Right is organizing a cattlemen's association. Oh. I don't like that cow. If ever they pin those killings on us, we'll both go down and smoke. Now listen to me. We're the only two men in Mesquite who know the Western Pacific is going through here. When it does, you must have the title to all the ranches it'll cross. Right has got to be stopped. Yeah, but how? He's going to the jail to see Sheriff Andrews about that warrant. Chuck, the Apache Kid, and Lon Walker are new in town. Turn it over to them. Well, looks like that warrant might be delayed a little. wants to see Shark, the Apache Kid, and Lon. I'm glad somebody around here had gumption enough to ask for the warrant. Beth, where's them warrant blanks? They must be in the storeroom, Dad. Beth's a lovely girl, Lou. Best there is. What's you going to charge Chapin with, Colonel? Murder. Murder? Cold-blooded murder. Hope you make it stick. Chapin's needed hanging for some time now. You make it stick, all right. Before we're through, we'll remove some more of Ace Hanlon's outfit. Ace Hanlon's outfit does its own removing. I figured you meant for trouble when you first hit town. And you come to the right place... <laughs>
did it, Beth. There were three of them. In the hump? They, they called one of them Shark. The other two were the Apache Kid and, and a man named Lon Walker. Shark? The Apache Kid? Lon Walker. Red. Old man Ryder got what was coming to him. We wanted him to run Mesquite. We'd elected him sheriff. How much shark? Lon Walker. The Apache kid. Everybody else can go. This will be a fair fight. Back up. Draw. Get up. I'm running things here now that Luke Andrews is dead. What's going on here, anyway? These three coyotes murdered my father and Sheriff Andrews. I was just evening things up. Better let the law do that. 
Are you charging Shark with murder? Double murder. All right, Shark. You heard what Ryder said. Come on. I'm going to go find Miss Beth. Little Beaver, go find Pony. I tell you, Cal, I'm afraid of Shark. When the going gets tough, he'll talk and talk plenty. I will get him out of there. But how? There's no bail for murder. I mean, break him out of there. That new sheriff has worked for us before. He's got her this time. Well, I'll mean his neck if he turns Shark loose. I don't mean turn him loose. Now, you listen to me. You go down there and you see that guy. You tell him exactly what I'm going to tell you now. Why don't you come out to the Circle R? The Duchess will be good for you now. Thanks, Fred. I do need someone. Well, I'll shove on ahead and tell her you're coming. All right, I'll follow as soon as I can. Sure, you got your story straight, huh? Yeah. Shark claimed he got nicked in the gunfight with Ryder. I came in to look at him, and he grabbed my gun and slugged me. That's right. And don't forget it. Better you use yours, eh? to that. Seldy and the driver will drop you off at the Barker Ranch. You uh, will get a horse and outfit there at Barker's and head across the border. You better stay there until you hear from me. All right. Carrying a bundle of hurry, little beaver. Little beaver needs Red Rider quick. Red's at the house. What's the matter, little beaver? Too much the matter. Shark out of house with bars. Going to mail coach to Barker Ranch. Then he crossed border. How do you get out of jail? Little beaver not know. Little beaver see him at H. Hamlin place. So he's going to the Barker Ranch in the mail coach. That's a little beaver hear them say. Cherokee! Put that saddle back on thunder! Keep quiet. Get in. Get 
over there.
Beth, you all right? I, I'm all right. Let's get out of here. There are too many things about that mesquite set up I don't understand. We're going back to the Circle R. Somebody hired you to kill my father and Sheriff Andrews. Who was it? It ain't been proved I've done it yet. Well, you flea-bitten coyote, Miss Beth said she's seen you. And Miss Beth don't lie. There ain't a jury in the country that wouldn't hang you on just her say so alone. Oh, uh, tie it up, cowpoke. I don't scare you. No. Take it easy, Cherokee. I ought to skin up a few knuckles on him. I got another job for you. I want you to ride in and tell Sheriff Kate I'm bringing in Shark this afternoon. And this time he'll stay in jail till they hang him. All right. Just as you say, Red. Don't bank too heavy on getting me hung, Ryder. I got friends. Yeah, the wrong kind. They got me out of jail once, and they won't see me put back in. You think so? I know so. Why, you can't even get me to Mesquite. Keep an eye on him, Joe. Shark. He's bringing him in this afternoon. Hmm. Well, we took him out once before. Wait a minute, Ace. I won't stand for another phony jailbreak. You stand? Now, don't get me wrong, Ace. I'll play along as far as I can. But if I let Shark get away again, people will get wise. Then where will I be? Yeah. Yeah, I guess you're right, Dad. You better get back to your office, sir. But never mind. Uh, I'll think of something, all right. This comes at a fine time. Barnett's right to the Western Pacific plans to build through here sooner than we expected. That means we'll have to work faster. We won't have a chance to if Shark gets on the witness stand. He'll tell everything to save his own neck. Yes, I know. It's unfortunate that Shark had to get caught again. But I don't propose to let him or anyone else stop me from getting title to the land the railroads need for their right of way. I don't care how you do it. But you've got to see that Shark doesn't get to town.
head all right, but where's Shark? Uh, it don't make sense. That's one of the buckboard horses. Dog's going at red. Where's Shark? Here he comes now. Dad burned. Shark ran off at the mouth too much. I figured I might have a little trouble getting him here. No trouble for a little beaver. <laughs> Get him out of there. Get the information out of Shark. We'll just have to hold him for trial. You going? Cherokee, you go with him. the real murderer hang for this, don't you, Lawson? Well, sure I do, Red, but... Say, I never did book this fella. Watch him for me while I go fix his papers. I'll watch him. You'd better talk. You can't bluff me, cowboy. I'm not bluffing. <laughs> Stabilize the men and mount up.
drill shark and get it out of town. Deputize the men and mount up. got shark before we found out who the rest of the gang was. Yeah, well, we can't help that now. Come on, let's go back to Mesquite. <laughs> and this Pecos base was apparently the last of the gang that's been raiding the ranches. I hope so. If he was, then the men who've been burned out and run off their property can come back and start to rebuild. That's going to take money, Mr. Drake. Can the bank do anything for him? I hate to refuse that request, Jackson. The bank can't possibly advance more funds at this time. That, of course, is my attitude as president of the bank. However, as a private citizen, I'll be glad to start a fund to help our less fortunate neighbors. We all have some money coming from that last cattle shipment. I'll throw my share in the pot. That suits me. Well, you can count on the Duchess and me. Then it's agreed. How soon can you gentlemen get your money here? Right away, I guess. We can wire the stockyards to send it on to Mars mail stage. We might as well get things started. Let's send that wire right away. Now, wait a minute, fellows. That money's about all the ready cash we have. Let's put a guard on that stage we can trust. I'll ask Sheriff Dade himself to ride in the stage. Thanks, Drake. Don't mention it. Much obliged, Mr. Drake. That's good to help All right. Here. Red, we're depending on you and the Duchess. Good day, Mr. so that you can clean up when, when the railroad starts to build through here. Well, you see, Hanlon, this roundup money represents the last ready cash most of the ranchers have. It's coming in on tomorrow's stage. That's the part I don't get. How can these men loan money that's been lost in a holdup? Oh. 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 <laughs>
Stop, don't. Pass out that money pot. Take it easy. Drop your gun. Now get off. Howdy, Dade. Kind of figured you might pick up a couple of passengers along the road. Mighty good thing you came along, Ryder. I thought they had it. Get in there. This is one time you coyotes ride for nothing. We'll find out more about them when we get into Mesquite. Yeah. Much obliged. Dade is 15 minutes late now. I hope Dade will bring it in all right. I'm sure he will. Here it comes. And Red with it. So he is. Everything's all right, Beth. What happened, Sheriff? These two hombres tried to hold us up. Red came along and we corralled them. Come on. I'll go along with you, Sheriff. Here you are, Mr. Drake. You tell Red. Red, they took the money. Who? Oh, two men. They went out the west road. You ride south, they'll think you're heading for the border. You can lose them in Echo Canyon and double back. You better take this with you. Split up. There's only one horse from here on. This one's headed straight for the border. He must have the money. Yeah, that makes sense. Come on, boys. We can't trace them in these rocks. We better go back to Mesquite and talk to Red. Alan, the 
we're sending a couple of the boys out to take the money back to town. We'll head for the board till things cool off. Cherokee and the others? Little Beaver yell, but Cherokee not here. Where's your pony? Pony hiding rocks. You better back trail till you meet them and tell Cherokee I've gone on to the old mine. But Red Rider. Do as I tell you. Uh. Try it. That's Ryder's horse. Turn around. Time up. Hold it, Ryder.
Turn around. Time up. Hold it, Ryder. We can't get at him. Oh, yes, we can. Take this money to handle him and meet you later. Right. Nothing while the neighbor starves. Besides, those fellas got all the ready cash there was in the counter. I'm ready. Come on, Red. We'll be back in a couple of hours. All right. Don't worry, Beth. I won't. bad to have to mortgage such splendid property as the Circle R Ranch. Sure it is. But those ranchers who were burned out have to have money to get going again. I wish you could have given her a little more time on that loan, Mrs. Gregg. I'm sorry. It's rather a large loan. And 30 days is all that we can allow. Well, that's all right. I'll have a herd ready for market in two or three weeks. Well, good day, Mr. Drake. Good day, Duchess. managed to get a mortgage in the Circle R, that biggest spread in the county. As soon as it's known the Western Pacific Railroad is going to build through here, that ranch alone will be worth a fortune. What chance will the Duchess have of being able to pay off this mortgage on time? Yeah, that's where you come in. All we have to do is stop them from getting the cattle ready in time for the fall shipment. They have plenty of feed, but the water supply is limited. Here, now let me show you. 
Here's Coyote Creek. Yeah. Water hole in Sand Canyon. Over here is the big tank in the north pasture. Yeah. You need six men. Have two of them go to Coyote Creek? Signal. That's Little Beaver's signal. He must be in trouble. Come on. Beaver. Well, what's going on here, Red? I don't know yet, Cherokee. That's what I've got to ask little Beaver. Over there. Now, Sprout, what's this all about? Me fix them so they don't get away. He tie saddles to trees. Horses go. Saddles stop. Quick. What have these fellas done? They put plenty poison in Creek. So that's it. Is the rest of your gang pulling this stunt on the other water holes, too? You'll find out. I aim to. Cherokee, you take these two hombres back to the ranch and send somebody out here to guard the Creek. All right. Little Beaver, you stay here and keep the stock out of the water until the guards get here. I'm going to go take a look at the other water holes. Oh. Crossing. 
Yeah, sure spoil this water hole. After Gus and Bart finish off the big tank, the circle our cattle is sure gonna get thirsty. Cut your off. Put them up. Take your guns out. Easy like. Toss them away. We'll burn in a hurry. Let's throw on the oil. Get the torch ready.
Cherokee. Good morning, Cherokee. Red, we're in a jackpot with our water supply all shot up. We sure are, Cherokee. Unless we can patch up our top till we get a new one from Kansas City. Yeah, but that beef herd out on the flat needs water bad right now. We've got to do something about that, Red. If we can't market that beef herd in good shape, I won't be able to take up that mortgage that Drake holds on the Circle R. I know that, Duchess. Best thing we can do is throw him on the Wilson's range. He's got water. Cherokee, you get the herd headed toward the Lazy W. It'll take you time to get through Sundown Pass because it's so narrow. Yeah. Beth, you go over to Wilson's this afternoon and tell him we're throwing our herd onto his water in the morning. Why not right away? He'll be busy with his own chores. Catch him when things slack up. Duchess, I'm going in the mess sheet. All right. Where do you think you're going, Sprout? Little Beaver, go with Red Ryder. Yeah? Why? Might be trouble. <laughs> well, it might be at that. Come on. Circle our beef herd. Where? Looks like they're heading for Sundown Pass. Sundown Pass? Can you get a message through to 19 for me? Sure. Good. Wait here. for my water pump. I hope you've got them. Pump breakdown? No. The same outfit that's been shooting the ranchers off their spreads got to my water supply last night. Things ain't right around here, Red. Somebody's out to do you fellas in. We know that. But our turn will come. Let's take a look at those parts. Little Beaver pays for apples. boys are heading for Sundown Pass. As soon as they get the powder. That pass is so narrow, you could blow it up with a 45. Now, wait a minute. I'm going to get me an apple. By the time the Circle R gets their cattle moving, my job at the pass ought to be finished. Yeah, my smart of the boss would be to block that pass by blowing her up. 
And that's one spot that Red won't be able to wrangle himself out of. That little beaver. Maybe you heard Come on. That'll keep him quiet. Now, this ain't no place to do it. Well, we'll hold him in the barn till after dark. I'll send those parts up to you just as soon as they get in. Thanks, Johnson. I wonder what's happened to Little Beaver. <laughs> Looks like he got his apples. <laughs> he wouldn't go off and leave a mess like that. And he's left his pony. Look, Red. Something's happened to him, sure enough. Come on, fella. You're gonna help me find our pal. Red Rider's tune. Gag him. I'm going down. You. What happened this time? Little Beaver crawl an apple barrel. Hear men talk. What about? Get on my back. Yeah, maybe it would be safer if one of the hands went along. Don't worry, Duchess. I can take care of myself. All right, now tell me what you heard. Gonna blow up quick. Till sundown pass with rock. I gotta stop Beth. You go back to the ranch and tell Cherokee to hold the cattle.
Beth. Beth. Somebody blew the top off this cliff to block the path. How can we get the cattle through to Wilson's now? We can't. We've got to take them somewhere else. Come on, let's get out of here. Sundown Pass hasn't stopped Ryder. He's made a deal with Madison for water rights on the Bar M. Bar M? Yes, and if they market that herd, the Duchess will be able to pay off your mortgage. Oh, no, she won't. The Western Pacific will pay a fortune for the Circle R Ranch. And I've got to get title to it before she finds out the railroad is going to build through here. Fortunately, I hold a mortgage on the Bar M. And Madison is way behind in his payment. I'll go see Madison. Good. Mr. 
Drake. How are you, Madison? By the stranger. What are you doing up this way? Want to have a little talk with you. Don't you sit down? Thanks. I, uh... I don't want to hurry you, Madison, but, uh, this new territorial banking commission won't let me carry delinquent accounts. Unless you pay up in three days, my bank will have to take over. Well, dang it, you can't do that. Well, I've slaved to make this a paying ranch, and just when I begin to see the light... Now, it isn't my fault. Well, maybe it ain't. What am I going to do? I can't raise half that much money in three days' time. I know what I do. Circle is using your wells, isn't it? Yes. Make them pay you now for the water rights. That would give you enough money to meet your payment. Oh, I can't do that. Red and the Duchess are just as hard up for cash as I am. Maybe they could raise the money. Maybe they can. But I don't want to push them. Don't seem neighborly. Well, think it over. You know, it's better to collect the money that's due you and save your ranch and be a good neighbor and lose it. Besides, if the bank did take over the bar end, I'd have to make them pay in advance for past you anyway. You would? Yes. Banking commission rule. Well, in that case, I'll go see Red today. Wish you luck. Let me know how you make out. I'll do that. That's how it stands, Red. Drake said he'd help us out if he could. But his hands are tied. Well, I know the Duchess doesn't have the money. And Drake has a mortgage on the Circle R already. She just can't raise the cash. Hmm. Unless maybe I sell the cattle. And I'd hate to do that now because they're not ready for market yet. I don't want you to do that. You'd only get half what they're worth. Yeah, I know it. Little Beaver needs Cherokee, quick! Don't bother us now, Sprout. We're busy. Little Beaver's busy, too. Got big news. What do you got? Maybe this is it. A thousand dollar prize. If I could grab that off, our troubles would be over. Red Rider go and race? You bet I will. I'm going downtown to sign up right now. Red's got a chance for that thousand, all right. Hello, folks. We're all betting on you, Red. Red's got the best chance to win, all right. No, he hasn't, because we can't afford to let him. Good luck. Thanks, Brown. I'm going to need a little good luck. <laughs> There's much, much more than that thousand dollars at stake on this deal. Well, how are you going to stop him? That's your job. In the morning, before the race starts, you ride out for the Circle R. You're not doing any racing today. Tell the boss I got him. Right. Well? One night he's taking Red to the old land by the shack over Dark Canyon. Well, why didn't you cut him out of the play for good? Now get going and take care of him. Slim's driving out with a load of grub. You can ride with him. Jack and the boys want him taken care of. Come along. Just a little drink. 
to celebrate the stagecoach race. You ain't gonna win. this a little bit. Somebody's waylaid Red or he'd be here. to take care of him while we got the chance. Suits me. We'll take him out and finish him up right now. Keep him covered. Oh, pretty smart, ain't it? You can use them. This is a little grave digging to do. You dig it, we'll fill it. Get going. Come down from there, Sprout. 
I've got a lot of riding to do. You go on back to the ranch and stay out of trouble. Back already, that was the first couple chapters of The Adventures of Red Rider from 1940. Hope you'll join us next week for the second part. And if you ever miss one of my shows, go to YouTube under Donald O'Malley or Don's Breakfast Cereal Show. Hit like and subscribe and you'll never miss one of my shows. So good night, folks. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.